So ALS is difficult to diagnose because it mimics other neurodegenerative conditions. Um, weakness with muscles, twitching, difficulty with um, doing tasks or daily tasks, those are all symptoms that you can have with other neurodegenerative diseases as well. So the way that ALS is diagnosed is by process of elimination. And this is why it might take months, even up to a year, before someone could be diagnosed with ALS. So because it takes so long to diagnose ALS, it's really important that we develop novel biomarkers of disease. And these will allow us to do a simple blood draw or do an imaging test or collect some urine from a patient and be able to tell them that they have ALS so that this cuts down from the time where a patient experiences symptoms until they get diagnosed by a neuromuscular specialist. So once we identify what's going wrong using a patient's own samples, we can then try to recapitulate them in our mouse models or our cellular models. And identifying those targets is really helpful because then we can partner with our industry partners or use um, common pharmacological tools um, to then target these pathways. One of the most exciting discoveries in ALS over the past two years has been the discovery of this protein called Statman2, which is really important for the regrowth and repair of neurons. Um, TDP43 is a protein that is mislocalized and aggregated in 97% of ALS cases. And um, researchers here at Harvard, actually two different groups, one led by Dr. Clotilde Leger-Turin here at the Healy Center, they discovered that this loss of TDP43 and its mislocalization out of the nucleus leads to a decrease in statin 2 levels. So these studies showed us that if we could replace or increase the levels of statin 2 then we can help the neurons regenerate. And this is really exciting and highlights now statin 2 as a new drug, or excuse me, new target um, for the treatment of ALS. The most exciting work that's happening in my lab currently is focused on a protein called tau. Tau is a protein that has been linked to Alzheimer's disease for a number of years now, and its role is really important for trafficking proteins around the cell. In Alzheimer's disease, tau is phosphorylated and it localizes to areas within the cell that it normally does not, and that could cause a lot of problems for our neurons and their health. What we have discovered recently is that tau is also mislocalized and phosphorylated in ALS and that it might play a role in disrupting mitochondrial function. And mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. And it's been shown in ALS that they have deficits in their function and that we have a loss of bioenergetics in ALS. So if we could repair mitochondrial function maybe we could help the cells survive better. So our studies are now linking this alteration in tau to mitochondrial function, and we have in hand a few exciting new compounds that we're testing to see if we could reverse some of these deficits that we've been des describing in ALS. The other thing that I would say is really exciting is this bench to bedside model that we have here at Mass General. So uh, in my lab, whatever discoveries we make using uh, patient samples, uh, we can then um, identify new targets that we can set up a preclinical trial in our mouse models with using um, novel compounds or FDA-approved compounds. And any positive results from those preclinical um, from the preclinical work in the lab can then easily be translated into the clinic. Um, and into the platform trial, which then really speeds up um, new discoveries and gets things into patient a lot faster.